Reinforcements have arrived. Hey there, strangers! My name's Eos, and welcome back! Yeah. Once again to Command and Conquer. Last time, you might recall that uh, Nod's been spreading some uh, some pretty nasty rumors about GDI. So much so that the UN, or whoever's in charge, I'm not entirely sure, has cut off all funding to all of GDI's projects. Which, as you can imagine, seeing as we are fighting a war against an evil tyrannical cult that is trying to take over the world, is kind of a bad thing. We, we kind of need that money to uh, protect everyone from the evil dudes. So last time we had to uh, we had to go under the radar, do some covert ops to uh, start bringing GDI back on track. So we went and found uh, an old rundown GDI base. We brought it back to operational order. We went back and we fought against Nod and just uh, kicked some butt and it was pretty cool. And then after that, we got some sort of uh, radio transmission, or uh, it's a video transmission, from some guy. We, I mean, we've seen the guy before, but we couldn't understand anything he said. And now we've got a, a, a commando. I, I don't know what we're supposed to do with the commando. How do, how, does, how do we have a mission if I didn't even get, like, the objective of the mission? But either way, we now have ourselves a commando in this commando. This is one of the things I just associate so much with this game from my childhood because this guy, like, is one of my favorite units in this entire game and in all of GDI and stuff because he's so quotable. I still, to this day, I will say stuff like, that was left-handed or I got a present for you and stuff like that because he's kind of awesome. And I will show you why as we go over here and uh, murder this guy with our single shot sniper pistol or whatever we have. I have no idea, but it is super awesome, and I, uh, I rather like it. So we're gonna go about our journey here, and see if possibly, maybe, we can save the day. So we're gonna go and shoot that gun back up. Nope, 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 nope. Because, our, I actually remember this from, uh, when I used to play this as a kid. So, oh, there's a guy hiding there. I remember you. Um, I have a, a gun that kills things in one shot. However, he, uh, doesn't have an infinite fire rate. He, he fires relatively slowly, so you need to, uh, go attack and then back up so that you don't get, uh, murderized. Because if, if there's two of them, then the other guy's gonna shoot at you while your commando's still running towards the other guy while reloading. But also, on top of our amazing single-shot kill rifle or gun or whatever it is exactly, we also have C4, which will allow us to, uh, blow up any building so this guy can kill any infantry units or any building instantly, which is amazing. However, like I mentioned in a previous episode, this mission could be kind of a pain in the butt, depending on how this works, because when you just- I mean, just go ahead and do it and see if it actually happens. Uh, wait for it, go, go, yeah, there is! No, oh no, 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 kill that guy, kill that guy too! Oh, that's not a good start. For whatever reason, when any uh, structure is destroyed in this game, it has a random chance of a, uh, a unit coming out of it. So, oh, kill that guy. I believe there's a guy over here. Yeah, there is. There's a random chance of units spawning out of it, which, like you saw there, there was two guys in there, and they just came out and started shooting before I could kill them. So I'm already at half health. I threw this entire mission with one guy, and I am already at half health. That is... This mission could be kind of a pain in the butt. This is one that I, back in the day, remember doing a lot of saves coming, where I'd go and shoot one, or break one of those, I would save, and then I'd go break another one, and if I would just keep doing it and reloading, because guys coming out of these is completely random, like I said. So sometimes it is... Totally beneficial for you to uh, save before doing that and just load up a save and like just hope nobody comes out of one of those. But more importantly, we now have our Chinook, which I remember. Oh, I love this Chinook. Yeah, Chinook transport, which we will now use to get across this tiny little river right here, which I'm uh, doesn't seem that deep. I'm pretty sure you can go across that, it, but it's totally fine. It's going over here. Yeah, look at that. Oh, I love this mission. This mission is a pain in the butt, if I recall. But it is still really, really cool. So hopefully I'll be able to do this without uh, my commando dying because I have no way of healing this guy. This is my only unit for the entire mission on, uh, other than the uh, the Chinook here, obviously. And that's it. That is that's all we have to complete this mission that we don't know the objective of. I'm pretty sure. Let's go ahead and look here. If we go to here, I believe we can go to restate. Or is, uh, use GDI commando to infiltrate the Nod base. Blank, blank. Destroy the blank so that the base is incapacitated. Uh, get in, hit it, and get the blank out. I'm pretty sure that one's blank for a completely different reason. But that is, that's our mission. Do a thing. I don't know what the thing is. Just go do the thing. So I believe what I'm going to do, this uh, map is, how big is this map? 
It is decently big for having just one guy, so we're just going to go ahead and send him around here because I'm pretty sure I remember there being something up here. So, our objective so far, as you've seen, is we're destroying uh, some Sam sites. And we have our Chinook here to help us uh, get around the place as... Ooh, there's a guy over there. In fact, let's go kill that guy real quick. There are dudes everywhere, and I believe there are vehicles and stuff. And while the uh, commando is amazing against both uh, infantry units and structures... He is completely helpless against vehicles. He'll shoot them with his pistol, and it does jack squat, because you can't just shoot the gas tank or something like some uh, GTA BS. But let's go ahead and go over here and, uh, hey, buddy, you don't see me. I shot him between trees through the windows of that house. That is just how amazing this guy right here is. I love you, Commando. Carl, Commando Carl, I have no idea. Also, I, I think I may have mentioned this in one of the, uh, the previous episodes as well, but it's kind of interesting. I used to love doing this when I was a kid just because it's weird. Um, if you hold down control, you can actually force your uh, units to attack things. So I can get him to attack that tree for no reason. You can also get him to uh, destroy buildings. So if you just feel like it, you can just send your guy over here and just start wrecking like this village for no good reason. Which is, uh, it's actually kind of interesting. I kind of like that. I used to... It's really kind of amusing if you're doing multiplayer. I believe I used to do this in, um, more in Tiberian Sun, the sequel to this game, for those of you who don't know, because that game actually had a skirmish mode, so you could actually play against the AI and just have big, like, you know, four-on-four -four matches or whatever the t uh, highest limit of that was. I genuinely don't know. But I would actually... Oh, let's get this... Oh, there's two of them. Get that guy first, and then back up. Come on, do it. Do it. Yeah, you saw nothing. You... You, you just didn't notice. You didn't hear that blood-curdling scream. Your friend melted into blood. It's fine. It's, that's normal. Nod sees that all the time. That is just how Nod rolls. Get that guy. Yeah. I think they have rocket launchers, which actually won't do too much to, uh... Weirdly enough, the rocket launcher won't do nearly as much damage to my commando as just a dude with a gun. Uh, but it's fine. So, ooh, there's some guys down there. Can I kill you from up here? I don't know. They're going that way. Yeah, you go that way. So, ooh. Ooh, hello, Mr. Friendly, not friendly thing. Where are you going? You, come, oh, you, you don't see me. You you stay there. You don't see me, you go the... Yeah, you go that way. You just go that way. You just leave. It's great. So what I was saying, we'll see if we can kill this and uh, not die for many guys who are inside. Yeah, okay, there we go. So two things. One, I used to... um. I said one as I held up two fingers. Not like you could actually see that anyway, but it's not the point. One, we have to destroy these uh, SAM sites so that we can actually use our uh, transport here so that we don't die. Because like I said... There's vehicles here, so if we need to get out in a pinch, this is our way of, uh, evacuating, uh, very quickly. But we need to make sure the Sam sites are dead, otherwise I'll kill that. But also, ooh, also we can't go this way. I'm gonna, oh, I'm gonna have to go down there with that guy. That is not cool. I also don't know where the Sam sites are. That is also not cool. I don't know if I like any of that. Probably why I said it was not cool. Can I... Let's see. I'm gonna fly you to here just for a second. I'm gonna see if I can just take you down there, or is there a Sam site that close? No, I don't see a SAM site yet. Okay, cool. So luckily, despite the fact that this uh, mission is kind of cryptic, I do actually remember what the uh, the objective is. I didn't remember what the objective was until I recently replayed this uh, to rediscover what the objective was. Because I, uh, it's it's weird. Oh, oh, that was lucky. Like I mentioned in a previous episode, again, the um, the guys with rocket launchers can actually attack aircraft. Whether it be the transport helicopters like this, or if you call in airstrikes, or the uh, the Nod actually brings in their units via... Oh, is that a... Oh, it's not a flamethrower guy. I thought it was for a second. Oh, no! Look, he's looking at him! He's looking straight! He didn't even notice! Nod just doesn't care! I mean, they're a bunch of evil weirdos, but still, why do they not care if people just explode in front of them? So, ooh. This guy coming this way. Hold on. It's back. You, you see me? Hi, friends. I'm not for there's still there's a few of you. So, oh, they come this way. Okay, we need to try to kill them quickly. Yeah, I got all oh, I got some range because I'm a commander. I, I know you didn't actually notice me. I just killed that guy for no reason. Kill that guy. Kill him because you got hello. Could you go kill that guy? I'm not faster than they're going the same speed. Okay, never mind. We're just gonna go around this. I have a feeling there's probably gonna be a, uh, a Sam site up here, so we can go that way. So, like I was saying multiple times, um, the multiplayer. I love. Uh, you can actually ally yourself with um, the AI. So you can actually, because you can force your units to do stuff, you can get your units to kill uh, your allied units. Or, more, way more fun, was I would use my harvester. Oh, there's actually not a thing up here. Okay, so if I can just, I'm assuming their base is going to be, there you are. Hi, Mr. Base, I remember where you are now. Ooh, that's destroyable. Um, 
I would just use my harvester to run over <laughs> my allies, which may not be the most noble of pursuits, but I found that amusing because um, right before I would actually win, I would kind of uh, disally myself with people and uh, annihilate them, and I would just kind of keep their numbers down by running them over with things because I'm awesome like that. All right, let's just take you over here for a second. I believe what I need to do is actually something really simple. But, I say I believe, I actually do remember now. I do, like I said, recently I did not remember. But I believe we will be able to do this pretty, uh, pretty easily. Hello. Do you see me yet? You might. He might. No, he doesn't. Oh, cool, he's really bad at this. That's amazing. So let's go over here. Yeah. Yo, is there a guy? Yeah, there's a guy. Yeah, there's a guy. Hi. What's oh, a guy guarding the base. Oh, look, he's outside. He's doing patrol. He's just doing his job and... Oh, it's okay. Nobody saw that. He was just right outside the front door of the base. Nobody's looking there. That That's crazy talk. Why would they see that? That's just silly. Ooh. Oh, the flamethrowers. Okay, flamethrowers can be a big issue with a commando. Unless they happen to be way down there. <laughs> they can't actually get to me. Because flamethrowers will wreck. I mean, just wreck infantry, like, instantly. Even, even if you manage to kill them. They can still wreck you if they, when they explode, that will actually do fire damage. It will actually set your, like, your units on fire. If it happens to run into a group of your dudes, and then you kill them, they'll just, it'll explode and kill all of your guys, which is not cool. I believe they may have noticed me now, so I'm gonna have to get this a little bit closer. I don't want that to get, shoot at him yet. Oh, wow. Oh, wow, it's time to leave. It is so time to leave. Like, really quickly. That's a tank! That's a light tank and enemy, enemy vehicle. Yes, it is. Okay, you know what? We're just gonna, just gonna vacate because I believe also, as soon as I get in the air, they don't know where I am. Because I actually can't select this in the air for some really stupid... Oh, he also kind of disappears. It's really dumb. You can't select them when they're, they're in the air. I mean, I've got a radio. I could call you and tell you what to do. But, um, once I'm in the air, the vehicles don't know what to do. While I'm here, they will actually come after me, I think. I believe currently they're not chasing me because there's a bunch of dudes in the way. I'm not entirely sure, but I need to get through that door. I need to get through that gate, and there's a tank there, which is not cool. Oh, there's also those guys. Okay, we've got to try to kill these rocket launchers so that I can take off. Come on, kill that guy. Okay, kill. Oh, there's there's a lot of them. It's like a lot of them. I don't like it. You, you know what? You know what? This is a bad idea. Get, get in the thing. We're leaving. We are leaving right now. Let's go. Away. Don't kill me, bros. No, 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 no. No, 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 ooh, 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 holy wood got his shot off. Okay, so, um, we need to strategize just a little bit here. I was hoping I was just gonna run into their base and wreck them, but, uh, it's not gonna be quite that easy, it would seem. So let's go over here and see if I can, oh, he's still going prone, there we go. Because like I showed in a previous episode, when they go prone, they actually were, uh, harder to hit, which I love. That is super cool, I love that they do that. But he actually came prone out of that, so he was just laying in the helicopter. Which, by the way, I'm not- How are you shooting up here? I'm on top of a cliff! That doesn't make any sense! Oh, that's so uncool. Okay, you, they're gonna have to go way around there, which is not gonna take them that long. But I'm gonna try to kill all your guys on the way. And hopefully that tank will be super dumb and just, uh, come all the way around while I can just fly over and land next to your base. Because my objective, again, is relatively- not even relatively, it is pretty simple. I just need to get there. Okay, so come on. Go, go, go. Go, 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 go. Here we go. And away! Yes! Okay, so while I have him still selected, I can, luckily the tanks can't shoot up here. We are not playing Just Cause. Oh no, there's a tank right there. Okay, I'm gonna have to try to draw them out. So, Mr. Tank, because I, I can't kill a tank. Not with a commando, I cannot kill a tank. I could go around the other way. Unfortunately, the other way has a lot of dudes. It has both, it has a lot of dudes. It also has a, uh, a, a gun turret thingy. Like, uh, a big, uh, blasty turret, which is not super powerful on, uh, infantry, admittedly. I, I don't want- I don't want him to be able to shoot at that. Oh, they're actually still going. I thought they would stop as soon as I went in the air. But, um, it's still- it's not good to, uh, take shots from it. It's- it's more like it could destroy my helicopter while it's parked there, I believe. Is she actually just going to where I was? I didn't realize they would do that. So maybe if I land down here, the, uh, the tanks will come back this way. Tanks! Tanks! Yeah, there's one! So, okay. Okay, they're up there. Oh, no, but they can still shoot down. Could you turn around? I need you- Oh, no, you're really close. Oh, see, the vehicles are what make this level a pain in the butt. Because I cannot properly combat them. Ooh. Hello, Mr. Nodbuggy. He's gonna hang out there. I'm okay with that. 
If you just want to stay there, I am totally fine with this. So you do that. Could you not be there? I need to park like here because I don't want to get close to that and I need to be able to run inside. Okay, so what we're going to do is we are going to go commando as I do in uh, many of my videos. And we're just going to go for it. That is our that's our mission. So we're going to land right here and we're just going to go for it. That's good. That's way too close. I don't like how close you are. Um, I, well, you know, first we're going to go here. See if I can draw that guy because that guy, these guys have machine guns on them. They're very lightly armored, but I have a pistol, so it doesn't really matter. And they're really good against, uh, infantry. So if I can draw you down here real quick, that would be great. Yes, now get in here. See if I can draw you over here. Come this way. Follow me, Nod Buggy. This away. Don't, don't stop there. No, no, no. Come, the, oh, okay, fine. I'm just gonna have to do this the, the slow way. Again, this is an RTS. This is not made to be a super fast action pace. Well, I mean... Some of them are, but this is like, this is, again, the granddaddy of the RTS. This is an old as butts game that I love so much. But, um, you know, the 90s, the 90s were a slower time. We didn't have super high speed intertubes and I meant internet, but you know, intertubes sounds far more amusing. So I like that. Okay, stay here. Go, you stay. Stop moving. You stop moving. Stop. Stop it. No, no. Stop going. Stop. Fine. Fine, fine. We're going. Okay, actually, stop. Never mind. I'm not gonna stop freaking out. We're still going this way. We're gonna have to go for it. We're just gonna have to gun it. Please do not shoot me down. I would appreciate it if you would not shoot me down. I don't know what the range on those is. Come on, land, 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 and then get out, and then make a freaking run for it. Go over there, bomb that, and uh, that'll be a uh, uh, just run, just run, just run. So again, this mission has no context they just give you a commando and say go do commando things what you're supposed to do is blow up anything you just have to get into their base and blow up anything and that's what it looked like apparently from first person we get to see what that looks like from first person and i, I don't think we move no okay that that was the end of the commando commando carl just stood there took an explosion to the face because either a he's really dumb or b um that's just how uh uh, that, that's just how commandos roll around here. He may be just a badass, I don't know, but... Oh, wow, my leadership and my efficiency were at 100%. That is surprising. That is awesome. Why does it say it took me 24 minutes? It took me 17 minutes. Wow, was that actually, that's going faster than the game is expecting it to run. Wow, old timiness. So, we're gonna go ahead and do that. As you can see, I've actually already played this level here because uh, I wasn't happy with how it turned out before. So, I went back because... I didn't know what I was supposed to be doing the first time, but this time I did, and that's all that matters. So, onward we go! So I'm gonna go on to the next mission here, and we'll get to see our, uh, little opening cutscene thing, and then we will, uh, I guess we'll call it there. We'll pick up the next one in the next episode, because these levels are getting a little bit longer. I'm not entirely sure how I'm gonna handle the, um, some of the later missions, because I'm sure they will be in the hours range. So, uh, actually, you know what? Let me guys know what you think on, uh, later levels of this if you want it to be edited if you want it to be in parts you want me to just upload all as one chunk let me know what you guys want because i love this game i love sharing it but i want to i want to know how you guys would like to uh see it so the what we saw is that gdi just cleaned house and took over all this stuff and not took one spot one one tiny little cut you right here and we're going to take it back immediately so onward to the czech republic population of 10.4 million uh, let's see, point of conflict is Ostrava. Uh, military power is National Guard. All right, onward we go. Was there confusion with that last directive? A little bit. I wanted you to take everything out, but not still there. Uh, sorry. I'll you with full force now, but it's imperative that this mission be completed. Well, I mean, maybe next time you can give me the actual message. That would help. Available forces. Oh, and FYI, institute maximum care when transporting captured Tiberians. You don't say. Display negative effects on some individuals. Uh-huh. What? See, I didn't realize that at this point we didn't know that. So I, Because I know that Tiberium is bad. I've been showing that off. I didn't realize that in-game they hadn't explained that yet. But look at that! Look at that old-timey CG turret! We didn't actually get to see that turret in this mission because <laughs> I didn't go over there and uh, get shot by it. But holy crap, that thing got destroyed. Why can't my rockets do that? That is amazing. I want my rockets to be that powerful. So... This has been more Command and Conquer. I love this game. I do so very much. And next time, 
We're just going to uh, actually get our chance to build an actual base because we've been uh, we've been a little bit lax in being able to build bases recently. Like that mission was entirely about a, a commando, dude. So we have to go in there. We got to wreck everybody. There's flamethrowers. They're gonna oh, actually. We'll show you right here. Flamethrowers are bad news because. Holy crap, they do so much damage! Wow! But next time, we are going to go in there, we are going to annihilate all of Nod Presence, and uh, hopefully do better than I'm doing right about now. So, I hope you guys have enjoyed some good old-fashioned commando action. Take care, and I will see you next time!